Hello, Dork Squad. I'm Jonathan Cormer, and you're listening to Dork Tales Storytime, the podcast for kids and their pop culture loving grown ups. It's a beautiful day for a story, adventure and glory, new friends and old ones too. It's an excellent day to get swept away in a tale, so let us regale you. Ah, yes. What a lovely day it is today. The suns are shining, the birds are chirping, and... Ooh, my tummy is a grumbling. Oh dear. I need to get some snacks, ASAP. And where is that Jonathan? He should have been back by now. Hmm. Well, let's see. What does he have in this pantry? Artichoke sticks? Hmm. <laughs> Ugh, too stinky. Hmm, lemon pepper pretzels. Ooh, sounds interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. Too sour. <laughs> uh, where are all the good snacks? Oh, dear. I must get something in this tummy soon, or I will just waste away to nothing. <gasps> ah, but what is this? Can it be? Oh, don't tell me. A super deluxe chocolatey of chocolate fudge brownie from the fudgery of fudge factory? All wrapped up in the sweetest of goodness? Oh, this is exactly what my heart and my tum-tum desire at a time like this. I must take a bite. <laughs> ah, not so fast, Reg. This is my brownie, and you can't have it. Oh, bother. Jonathan... When did you get back? Just now. And good thing I did. Because you were about to eat something that isn't yours. And you weren't going to ask me first. Well, I... Uh, that uh, isn't necessarily true. Uh, I just... Uh, you just... I just uh, wanted to make sure that all of your snacks were still in good taste, yes, and not expired, and uh, 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 and that they didn't have any uh, poison in them. Poison, huh? Y yes, I wanted to make sure that this super deluxe chocolatey chocolate fudge brownie from the fudgery of Fudge Factory was not full of poison. And to do that, I needed to taste test it first. Uh, yes, uh, uh, taste test it to see if, uh, to see if, to see if the brownie was going to make my friend sick. I thought it would be best to, uh, you know, sacrifice myself first for the sake of you and the brownie. It was going to be a heroic act of kindness for you, my dear Dear friend, Jonathan. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, give me the brownie, Reg. You should know by now that if you wanted some of my snacks, all you had to do was ask. But you were nowhere to be found, and I felt my stomach roaring. I was just around the corner. I was coming right back. Well, it seemed like an eternity. I was at the store grabbing some ice cream to go along with my brownie, and I was going to ask if you would like to make a sundae with me, but since you tried to get to the brownie before me, maybe I'll just keep it for myself. Oh, well, mate, <laughs> I'm sure your long trek to the grocery store was a tiresome one. Uh, might I offer to rub your feet or uh, maybe shine your shoes, hmm? Uh, uh, how about I get you a glass of sparkling water to go with your delicious and uh, decadent sundae? Oh, Reg, you don't have to bribe me to get a piece of the... Uh, bribe? No, uh, no, 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 bribe. <laughs> uh, just a, a lowly, friendly, uh, hungry, but caring hedgehog helping his friend after a long trip to the store. It was only a ten-minute trip, a long and treacherous journey out in the wild. But I told you it was just around the corner, into the unknown, into the unknown, into the unknown. 
Oh, nice one. Thanks. But, you know, you could just apologize and we could move on. <sighs> Fine. I'm sorry for rummaging through your pantry. And? And for snacking on your snacks without asking. See, was that so hard? No, it wasn't. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I forgive you. Now go grab a bowl and I'll start working on your Sunday. Huzzah! Uh, coming. Oh, hello, Goldie Quills. What are you doing here? OMG, I like totally need some help. W w what's going on? I went out shopping because I needed to get a new outfit for the Baylor Quick New Decades Tour. <gasps> you mean the ultimate queen girly of pop who just became Once Upon a Time's feline of the year? Yeah, she's like totally fierce. Like Sasha Fierce? Uh, who's that? The Renaissance Queen. If you don't know her, then you gotta get to the left. I, like, totally went on a shopping spree, but, like, when I came back to my house, something didn't feel, like, 100% right, and, like, I needed someone to come with me to check it out. Well, I mean, I can go with you. What exactly didn't feel right? Like, IDK. I think I just need another set of eyes. Well, here's a pair of glasses if you need them. <laughs> no, Reg. She means that she needs a friend to help her look around. Two pairs of eyes are better than one. I'll come with you. Aw, it's so nice to have a friend. All right, Reg, I'll be back. Uh, you can eat half of the ice cream and half of the brownie. But that's it. Nothing more. Don't worry, my dear friend. You will have a luscious Sunday waiting for you when you get back. Happy traveling. Okay, Goldie Quills, show me the way. It's not that far. Just around this corner and down this path. Uh, be careful on the cobblestone road. You got it. Once we get down to the bottom of this path, my home is to the right. I'm following right behind you. See, look. Now, I know I did not leave my door open, and I can see from here that it's a jar. Well, let me go in first and scope it out and make sure no one is inside that can jump out and scare us. Oh my gosh, I hope there's, like, not an intruder in my house. Stay right here. Hello? Anyone in here? Anyone? No? I'm coming right in. All right, looks like the coast is clear, Goldie Quills. Coming! Okay, so my flowers are all in the same spot, which is great. The windows are still closed, it seems. Hmm. But uh, look across the room. There's something off about my clothing rack. W what do you mean? I decay, but it's like leaning to the right, you see. Look. Oh, maybe it's just lopsided. I can fix that. All we have to do is move your jackets around evenly, and it won't lean to the side anymore. See? Like this. Fixed it. Oh, uh, not quite. Like, why is it leaning like that? Hmm, I'm not quite sure. Let's move things around and... Oh, oh, wait a minute. There is something in this one pocket. Let me see. Uh, hmm. Uh, Goldie Quills, do you like to collect, uh, rocks and rubbish? This one jacket pocket seems to be full of it, and it's causing your coat rack to, uh, lean. Like, what? In this pocket, look. It's full of rocks and trash and a whole bunch of other things. Ew, I, like, totally did not put that there. Well, who did? I decay, but let's trash all of that. Trashing it now. <gasps> the gasp, and look, my shoes. Oh, wow, I love that you have a sneaker wall. That's pretty cool. Very cool. But, like, I spent a lot of time lining my sneakers up neatly, so they all, like, fit nicely and look presentable. But the Styles 5 is facing the wrong direction. They're all, like, supposed to face in one direction. Someone was in here touching my shoes. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't put it that way by accident? Oh, I'm sure. Ugh. 
Let me fix it. There. All better. Oh, that was easy, Goldie Quills. I'm starting to think that maybe you did all of this and somehow forgot that you did. I don't think anyone else is in here. <gasps> Wait. Shh. What's that noise? W what noise? Like that noise. It's coming from the backyard. Follow me. <laughs> like, who's out here? Where are you? Like, come on out. I know you're out here because I can hear you. I don't think any... Shh, shh, shh. I'm trying to hear where the noise is coming from. Are you under here? Gotcha! Nope, nothing. Hmm. Are you in the bushes? Aha! Like, got it! Nope, no one. Uh, Goldie Quills? I think I found what you were looking for. What? Where? Look here. Like, eek! Uh, what is this? Who are you? Why are you rummaging through my garbage? <laughs> Get out! Out, I say! Out of my yard! Oh, hey, hey, Goldie Quills. Um, maybe that's not the best way to talk to our new friend. New friend? This raccoon was going through my trash. It's like, not my friend, and he's giving me the ick, and I want him gone. Well, Goldie Quills, not too long ago, you went through someone's home without asking, remember? You know, the bears. Uh, let's show a little grace, shall we? <sighs> You're right. I shouldn't have done that. But I don't want anyone to do that to me. I understand. Uh, let's see if we can lend a helping hand. Look, he's shaking, and it's not even cold outside. He's probably scared. Come here, little buddy, it's okay. Uh, who are you? Oh, howdy. My name is Frank. Frank Rubbish. And, um, I'm from a little ways down south. Hi, Frank. I'm Jonathan, and this is Goldie Quills. Like, Hi. A couple of my buddies and I are in a band called Possum Pact, and we were here in town for a gig. Uh, somehow I got separated from them, and then my acorn phone died. I was trying to find my way back. And you just, like, ended up in my home? No, you see, I was rambling down the path, and the door was open, and I thought someone was inside who can help. I knocked like a woodpecker knocking on a tree, and no one answered. So I came round back to find someone. So you've been hanging out back here ever since? Well, I saw that there jacket in the back, and I was hoping it had some kind of identification in the pocket so that I could call for directions. Well, that's smart. Thank you. But the pockets were empty, and I didn't want to just leave the jacket out here. It's a very nice jacket. Like, thanks. It's a Baylor Quick Fan Squad jacket. Oh, and it's mighty fine. Just like a frog on a lily pad. Uh, I decided to hang it back up, but as you can see, I'm one of those small folk, so I had to drag it from the back of the house and to the front to get it up on the coat rack. I sure do hope I didn't mess it up too much. Oh, that's why there was all that rubbish in the pockets from earlier. See, Goldie Quills? Frank didn't mean any harm by it. He was just putting it back where he thought the coat belonged. Yeah, well, thank you for that. I guess I didn't realize I'd left my coat out here earlier. Clearly, I was in a rush since I left the door open, too. That's my bad. While I was trying to put the coat back, I accidentally knocked over your sneaker wall, too. <laughs> I'm as clumsy as a horse on ice skates. <laughs> but I put all the shoes back where they were, uh, I think. I mean, like, yeah, you did. All but one, but I guess it's fine. I'm so sorry about that. Apology accepted. I also should, like, apologize, too. I didn't mean to get so angry when I first saw you. I was just startled, and I didn't know what to think when I saw you going through my trash. There's no need to apologize. I'm sorry I made my way into your home. I can be on my way now to get out of your hair, but can I ask, now that y'all are here and we're all acquainted, could you help me find my buddies? We have a show tonight, and well, that drum kit is not going to play itself. Oh, you play the drums? Sure do. Been playing since I was ten. I love music. 
Oh, do you play? Uh, I'm not too shabby on the kazoo. Well, like, I'm not the instrument type, but I can hum a little tune. Pa da, ba, da na na ba da da, it's ba, ba, ba ma na 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 ba. Well, that's good to know. Uh, maybe next time we're passing through, we can get you two up on the stage. Oh, I would love that. Uh, do you happen to know any of your band buddies' phone numbers by heart? I sure do. Here, you can use my phone. Oh, thank you kindly. Uh, hopefully they'll answer. Hello? Rex? Where are y'all? Down by the river? Next to the big boat with the big star on it? Okay, I will find my way there. Uh, see you soon. Hopefully. Bye-bye. Uh, any idea where the river is? I, like, know exactly where that is. I can totally take you. You sure? That would be as hospitable as a coyote sharing its den. I totally got you. But first, let me say sorry again for earlier. I was just startled. I, I didn't mean to, like, scare you or anything. You are fine, Miss Lady. I'm sorry for intruding. Sometimes my rummaging ways get me into a bit of a bind, no matter how well-intentioned I am. But I do appreciate the hospitality. Reminds me of home. Looks like this all worked out. Goldie Quills, uh, you're all right to take Mr. Frank Rubbish to find his friends? Sure thing. It's the least I can do. You, like, helped me today. And you're so kind to come down here with me, so I should totally, like, pass on the kindness. Sounds good to me. It was lovely meeting you, Frank. Likewise. Till next time, Goldie Quills. Totes my goats. All right, Frankie, let's get you down to the river. You know, you have a mighty nice accent. So do you. Like, where did you say where you were from again? Oh, in a little town south of the Folktale Forest, located in, uh, say, have you ever heard of the Whimsy Woods? <laughs> Mr. Reg, I'm back. Oh, hello, friend. How was your journey? I was able to help Goldie Quills and made a new friend. A new friend, you say? How lovely. Yeah, it is very lovely. But not as lovely as my brownie sundae. I've been looking forward to it all day. Um, yes, well, uh, so about your sundae. Reginald, did you eat my half of the brownie and all the ice cream? Oh, please say you didn't. No, 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 I didn't. In fact, I did the opposite. What do you mean? Well, I felt bad about going through your snacks earlier that I went down to the grocery store to buy you some more. I brought you extra toppings. Butterscotch balls and rainbow sprinkles and uh, mini cherry toppers. Uh, Mr. Reg, thank you. That was very kind of you. It's the least I can do for you, Jonathan. I've learned a great lesson about taking things that aren't mine and rummaging around in your stuff without asking. Hmm, just like Frank and Goldie Quills. Oh? Did they also learn one shouldn't do that? They sure did. But we also learned to be more understanding and forgiving of others. I know you were just hungry, Reg. And I would never hold something like this against you. Thank you for seeing where I'm coming from, too. You betcha, mate. Let's go decorate our Sundays now. Hooray! Wow, you got so many amazing toppings. What are you going to add? Hmm, maybe some blueberries and uh, chocolate chips and rainbow sprinkles. I love rainbow sprinkles. Me too. Mmm, yummy. And do we have any whipped cream? Oh, sure. Oh, that's right. I, I also got some whipped cream. Here you go. Oh, thank you. And uh, I think I'll have some uh, uh, kinds of nuts. I'm not sure what kind of nuts I would like. What do you think? What nuts do you think I should like? This has been a John and Character production. This story was written by Melissa Victor, edited by Molly Murphy, and performed by Jonathan Cormer. Sound recording and production by Jermaine Hamilton at Hamilton Studio Recordings. Reach out to us on Instagram or email us at dorktalestorytime at gmail.com. Find links in the show notes or go to dorktalestorytime.com. 
now. Go be the hero of your own story, and we'll see you next Once Upon a Time.